हाय देर हाँ देर हाय दुरुस्त है यस फाइनली हेयर इज द मी टी वी स्टिक आई बिन यूजिंग दिस फॉर अ कपल ऑफ डेज एंड आई वॉन्ट टू रियली एक्सप्लोर इट इनफ बिफोर आई शेयर माई ओपिनियन अबाउट इट सो हेयर इज एन इन डेप्थ रिव्यू दैट विल हेल्प यू डिसाइड इफ यू शुड बाय दिस और नॉट बट बिफोर वी बिगिन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एन अपडेट ऑल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन माई सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स फॉर मोर टेक इन्फो दिस इज योर फ्रेंड टेक सिंग लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट So before we begin here's a quick glance at the specifications. A53 quad core CPU, Mali 450 750 megahertz GPU, 1 gigabyte RAM with 8 GB internal storage, Android TV 9 OS, supports output up to full HD 1080p resolution. So firstly, amazing design, simple. I can't say it's unique because we all know where this has been inspired from. But I'm not complaining. Dongle designs are always more functional and save space. unlike the mii box which needs to be placed on a table and then the cable management is a mess but of course mii box has its own benefits too the mii tv stick connection is simple plug it on any monitor or tv that has an hdmi port connect it to wifi and you're done the device remains invisible mostly since it's stuck behind the tv it does need power so you'll need to plug in a micro usb cable on it and the other end to a usb port on your tv in case your tv doesn't have a usb port then you can plug it into a power source A power adapter is provided in the box and I know it's very important info considering many people who are going to buy the Mi TV stick have an old non-smart TVs that might even not have a USB port so you don't have to worry. The setup process was fairly simple. Once turned on, you'll get the Android TV animation followed by pairing the remote, enter your Wi-Fi password, enter your Google credentials and you're done. If you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, you can even use your Mi TV stick with your phone's mobile hotspot. Keeping that in mind, Mi TV is offering data saver mode, which basically reduces data consumption and lets you stream almost three times more as compared to your regular Wi-Fi connection. You can also set up data alerts, so when a selected data is consumed, it alerts you. This is very helpful for those who have limited data plans. You don't want to exhaust your complete data while streaming on your stick, right? The Mi TV stick offers the most popular smart TV OS. Yes, the Android TV 9. It's simple, clean and anyone who's ever used a smartphone will know how to use this. So coming to the apps, well the Mi TV stick comes packed with all that you need. Netflix done, Prime Videos done, YouTube done, Disney Hotstar done. You name it and it's there. The device comes with Google Play Store so you can browse and download as many as you want. There are even games. Some will need a gamepad while some can be played using the Mi TV stick remote. Frankly, you shouldn't look at this for gaming. Though there are some basic games like Beach Buggy which I tested and they work really well, but some other games like Asphalt 8 lag like crazy. Basic gaming, cool. Heavy gaming, not at all. Talking about apps and games, the Mi TV Stick comes only with 8 GB internal storage, leaving you only 4 GB user space. It would have been good to see at least 16 GB, but then looking at other products in the similar category, everyone is just sticking to 8 GB. Kya kare? Now I know many wanted to know how smoothly and how well do Amazon Prime and Netflix work. Well, I tested Netflix and it works really smoothly. The Netflix app is very well optimized for the Android TV OS and it works really really good. Checked out Amazon Prime as well. Amazon Prime also works smoothly though it does take a while to boot, but after that it's smooth flowing. The YouTube app also played very well but videos maxed out at 1080p. But YouTube app also works very well. Similarly, tested many other streaming apps and it didn't have trouble with any of them. Since it's running the Android TV OS, it comes with built-in Chromecast. So Chromecast will help you cast videos, movies, images from your phone to the TV screen that's connected to the Mi stick. Apps like YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Z5, Hotstar all support Chromecast and the list is really big. You can mirror your Android phone too with the help of Chromecast. You can download Google Home app on your Android phone and mirror your phone from it. But it's not the smoothest experience. It's sometimes laggy, sometimes really smooth, and it's probably because of Wi-Fi lag. Yes, you will need a Wi-Fi connection for mirroring via Chromecast. There's no other option. I so wish they had the Miracast app pre-installed. It would have made mirroring almost perfect. No one does it better than Miracast. There is no Ethernet port, so no way to connect a wired internet. There's no 3.5mm audio output, so there's no way to connect a wire to connect it to external speakers. Yes, it comes with Bluetooth 5.0, which is great. So now you can connect wireless Bluetooth headphones. You can actually even connect a home theater system that supports Bluetooth. 
comes very handy. No USB port, so no way to connect external hard drive or pen drive to play movies or videos from it. Remember, the Mi TV stick is a streaming stick and not a multimedia device. Also because it lacks a USB port, you can't sideload apps. Well, actually you can. The process is far more complicated. I'll surely make a detailed step-by-step -step video on how to sideload apps on the Mi TV stick. Coming soon. Also, one of my biggest worry about the Mi TV stick is only 1GB RAM. Well, right now, I don't have too many apps installed, so the OS is running pretty smooth. But once in a while, I notice some lag. I've seen many devices with 1GB RAM that perform brilliantly. But the Mi TV stick still needs some optimization, which I can hope to see with future updates. Let's not forget, it's a new device. There are bound to be bugs. But it's not like it's unusable. I haven't faced any major issues when it comes to performance. It works decently well. However, 2GB RAM would have just been ideal. It's not super responsive, but it's not slouch either. Coming to the Mi TV Stick Remote, it's exactly like the Mi TV Remote. Minimalistic design, plastic build. This is a Bluetooth remote. On the top, you can see it has the power button. Here is the Google Voice search button. You can press this button and ask it for the weather. What is the weather in Mumbai? Currently in Mumbai, it's 30 degrees with haze. Ask it to open apps. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Anyway. So then there's also a D-pad to navigate. Then there's the app launcher button, back button, home button. Then you have shortcut keys for Netflix, Prime videos, and the volume button. The remote just has the keys that you need and it's light and super easy to use. The Mi TV Stick supports video output up to full HD. So technically it's ideal for full HD TVs. The place you'll actually see the difference when the content is streaming at 4K and the TV is 4K. Like 4K videos, 4K Netflix movies, 4K Prime videos, and more like these. But many streaming apps don't even have 4K yet. And even these apps that I mentioned still have very limited 4K content. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying skip the 4K devices and buy this. What I'm saying is know what your TV's resolution is and what you'll be streaming. If your TV is HD and the content you're going to stream is HD, then this is going to be ideal. If you look at the closest competition, then the Amazon Full HD Fire Stick is priced at 3999 Yes, I know it was selling for 2400 during the Amazon sale, but now it's 3999 The Mi TV Stick is selling for just 2799 And if I had to choose, the Mi TV Stick would be far more economical to make your dumb non-smart TV smart. You can even consider this for smart TVs that aren't smart enough. Like for example, some of us have smart TVs that ain't running the latest Android TV OS or lack apps that we want, like Netflix, Prime Videos. In fact, a friend of mine got the Mi TV Stick because his TV didn't have CNBC Live or was it NDTV Live? Something like that. In short, the app was not available on the Tizen OS and so he bought the Mi TV Stick. In fact, I even connected this to my projector. I made my dumb projector smart. If I were asked what more I want in the Mi TV Stick, I'd say 2GB RAM, 16GB storage and 4K output. I'm quite sure we're going to see that very soon, but be prepared that it would cost far more. The Mi TV Stick is a stick to turn your perfectly running regular TV to a smart TV. I'll leave the link in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. Shall be doing a comparison with the Amazon Fire Stick soon, so make sure you're subscribed. I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions about the Mi TV Stick, kindly mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.